Hi guys, welcome to another training in my YouTube channel. I am loving doing this for you all. I'm getting such great feedback. Um, and today I'm going to touch a very important topic when it comes to network marketing, but more importantly, when it comes to life. <laughs> I want to talk to you guys about your mindset and your personal development. I get so many messages on my Instagram asking me for advice, how I've done it, that you're discouraged, that no one wants to join your team, that you feel like giving up, all of these negative comments. And I wasn't always this positive. I wasn't always this much into personal development, but it has definitely changed my business and it has definitely changed the way I think, the way I view things. And I believe this is a huge part of my success in this business. The fact that I've been able to grow on my mindset and to dig into personal development. So towards the end of this video, I'm actually going to give you guys some podcasts that I love listening to, some books that I've read that have impacted me. But more importantly, I want you to understand that your mindset is something that you have to work on every single day. You're not going to wake up from one day to another and have the best mindset, know everything you need to know. Personal growth is a journey that I think we, it never ends. You know, every day we're learning, every day we're growing, every day we should be seeking knowledge. Every day we need to be seeking how can we become better people? How can we understand those people around us? And that is what personal development is. We need to work on ourselves before we can work on others, before we can pour into others. And the first thing I want to say is you need to change the way you are looking at things so that everything around you can change. Sorry, I have my notes like on the side. Um, so you need to change the way you are looking at things so that everything around you can change. It's all about perspective. It's all about how we view things. If we view everything as something negative, as something bad, as something discouraging, that's why everything we see is negative, bad, and discouraging. But if we just change our view on things, if we change the way we think about things, you will see different results. If you are feeling stuck in this business, it's because you are not changing the way you look at things and you are not changing the way you look at yourself. Okay, I want to make something super clear and that is that this is not overnight success. This is not a business that you join and you're supposed to have success a month or a week in. Does it happen? Yes. Is it common? No. So when I have people message me saying, I've been in the business for three weeks and I can't get a market partner. This must not be for me. I'm like, girl, it hasn't even been a month. You haven't given yourself the chance you deserve to grow, to explore, to adapt to something new. Network marketing is something new for a lot of us. And we are not, you know, giving ourselves the time we need to adapt to it. So just know that this is not overnight success. Know that you're not going to quadruple rank in one month. Again, has it happened? Yes. Is it common? No. And we need to remember that we are all on our own journey. I've said this on prior videos and I'm going to say it again. We cannot compare ourselves to others because we don't know where they've came from. We don't know the sacrifices they're making. We don't know the things they're giving up. We don't know the experience they've had. We don't know if they are more, you know, self-confident than we are. We cannot compare ourselves to others. That comparison game is what brings most of you down the quickest. Also, keep in mind that thoughts are things, okay? Stop thinking negative. Stop talking negative. Stop complaining. That is what you are attracting. When I have my girls message me with, Joe, but my team doesn't do this, but my team, but they're quitting, but they're sad, but they're this. It's so annoying. I don't know what to say. I tell them, you're doing the same thing to me. You're complaining, you're crying, you're being negative to me. By doing the same action that others are doing that we don't like, doesn't mean we're solving the problem, okay? We must always take the higher road. We must always be the bigger person. When people come with me, come to me with negativity, I stop them real quick. I do not entertain it, okay? You need to remember to stop focusing on the problem, the haters, the lack of this, the my team doesn't do this, and start practicing gratitude. Start listing the things you do have. Start listing the things that are going right and focus on the solution, 
okay? By naming your problems over and over and over again, you are not getting closer to a solution. And that's that's what a lot of you guys do. We focus on everything that's going wrong. Are the All the people that are telling us no, are all the people that join and quit, our customers that return their products, maybe our uplines that don't talk to us. We cannot focus on the negative. We need to appreciate what we have. We need to practice gratitude, guys. Gratitude is huge with personal development and huge with this business. And then we must focus on the solution. And the way to focus on the solution is to reflect. To reflect on what can I do differently? From what I'm doing, what is working? From what I'm, from, from what I'm doing, what is not serving me? From what I'm doing, what am I getting good feedback, good feedback for? From what I'm doing, how am I learning? How am I growing? How am I evolving? And how am I serving others? What value are you providing to other people? When you reflect on the way you run your business, the way you run your Instagram, the way you think, the way you speak to your family, the way you talk to yourself, because when we're thinking, we're talking to ourselves. When you reflect on all on, on all of that, but you really focus on that reflection, you start noticing so many things that you can change. So many things like I could have done this differently, said this differently. Maybe I can try that out. Okay, so let's not focus on the problem and the things that are going wrong. Instead, focus on the solution. Know that this takes time. Success takes time. Success takes patience. Nothing worth it in life comes easy. And if we don't grow ourselves first, it is going to be impossible to grow a business, to grow a family, to grow, to grow relationships. We need to pour into our cup first before we can pour into others' cups. And something I always tell my team is, picture this person you want to be. That's whoever you look up to. Picture this rank you want to be. Picture the life you want to live, the mom you want to be, the daughter you want to be and show up as that person. So think of that person you look up to, that person you want to become, that rank you want to be, that the amount of money you wanna have in your bank account, the difference you want to make, whatever it is, and start showing up as that person. When I was new and I wanted to be a director, I said, how do directors act? They show up every day. They practice you know, um, leadership. They do personal development. They host team calls. They post on Instagram. They get market partners. They get VIPs. They read books. They host events. They go to events. And you start acting and showing up like that person, like that rank you want to become. Today I did a live with an amazing lady. And she was showing me, you know, she just quit her job without knowing, you know, if this is going to totally work for her or not. But she set up a home office and, you know, she has her product display and she wakes up early and she sits in her office every day and she works from her office because she's a business owner. Because she knows that directors, that's what we do. That someone with a lot of money in the bank, that's what they do. So she's already acting like that person she wants to become. And that's what I did. And it helped me so much because you start building those habits. When you get the title of director, the title of market mentor, because that's all it is, it's a title. And I'm going to cover that in a little bit. You've been, you've been deserving that. You've been acting like that person. You've been a director. Now you just have the title. Why? Because you've been building habits all along. So what habits are you building every day? Personal development should always be number one on your list. Remember, when you get better, you get bigger, okay? I want you guys to focus on growth-oriented culture versus goal-oriented culture. So growth-oriented culture, goal-oriented culture. Growth-oriented, you value your development. While goal-oriented, you value your achievements. Okay, a goal is not about what you accomplish. It's about who you become in the pursuit of that goal. So I always tell my girls, a rank doesn't make you. Just because you're going for MMB and didn't make it doesn't mean that you're not good enough. Doesn't mean that this business is not for you. Doesn't mean that you're not a good leader. MMB is not the end result. The result is the growth you're having while you get to that rank is what you're learning, who you're meeting, how you're bettering yourself, what you're giving up, what you're changing. So whether you get to MMB or not, if you've had an amazing growth process, that's mm -hmm. what you celebrate. And remember that 
life's timing is perfect so maybe you didn't hit your rank this month but you know deep down inside you did everything possible to prepare for that rank to grow for that rank to be available for your team as that person that rank you want to become and when your time is right you will hit it but then there's those people that let's say you're going for mmb we're already mid-month you check your points you're super behind and you say mmb is not happening this month i'll try again next month you just allowed a rank to label you. You just allowed a rank to dictate your future, to dictate how you're going to finish the month, to dictate the amount of work you're putting in. Why? I am not Joanna the SCD. I am Joanna. And everything I've learned that got me to SCD, everything I've sacrificed, all my struggles, all my tears, that's what makes me who I am today, not my title of senior executive director. So stop being so married to a title and be married to your journey. Be married to what you're learning. Be married to everything you're doing on the daily to make you a better person so you can achieve your goals, okay? How you become growth oriented, it's not complicated, but it's also not easy. Like my sister Veronica would say, it's just a mind shift away. So you need to change the way you're thinking and you can go from a goal oriented mindset to a growth oriented mindset. And always remember this, mm -hmm. if you shoot for your goals, you will achieve your goals, but you may not grow. If you shoot for growth, you'll achieve growth and your goals. And that's a win-win. And that's what we want. So I want you guys to stop focusing on your goals. Stop only thinking about your goals and start focusing on your growth. Start focusing on your journey. Start focusing on becoming a better person, becoming a better leader. Because most of the time, when you're not getting the results you want, is because you there's some personal work that needs to be done. Okay, you are not mentally ready to step up to that rank that you want, that promotion, that check, that responsibility. So always take it back to personal growth. Okay, when it comes to podcasts, when it comes to reading books, I used to be the type of person that I would hear a podcast it would finish and I'm like, okay, it's done. I did personal development for the day and I couldn't even repeat to you what I learned, what I heard, what they were talking about. And I was like, okay, this is not serving me. It wasn't until I started actually listening to my podcast, taking notes. Like I love listening to podcasts while I run, but I know that's not the only time I can listen to it. If I listen to a podcast while I'm running, I need to come back home and listen to it again and really take notes. Because while I'm running, I hear things and I'm like, that's so good, that's so good, but I can't write it down, right? So make sure you are sitting down, you are focusing, you are listening, and you are applying. You are writing down what sticks out to you, what relates to you. What can you change from that? What can you teach from that? What, what can you apply for that? From that I'm sorry it's not just listening to a podcast it's not just reading a book what are you retaining from that okay this kind of goes back to the first video I did for you guys on um, explaining how to properly watch training videos you know because there are so many training videos and people are still asking for help with the same things I always tell my girls it's like you're asking the same question expecting a different answer but there is no different answer how to do this business, you gotta be consistent, you have to show up every day, you need to see the vision, you need to do personal development, you need to lead by example. You know, I wish I could give you guys like the secret sauce and the answer to recruit and the answer to get VIPs, but I don't have it. It takes a lot of personal work from within. The way you talk to people, the way you talk about the business, the way you view yourself, the way you talk about yourself, all of that, believe it or not, has to do with, your, with hitting goals in this business. Because people pick up on your energy, on the way you're doing it. People can tell if you're desperate to get a market partner to hit a rank or if you genuinely want to help someone change their lives. And then you get a market partner and then you hit your rank. Okay? And the only way that you're fully going to understand this, by no means am I a motivational speaker or anything of that sort. So my recommendation is dig into personal development. Find yourself. Okay, connect with yourself. Why are you doing this business? Why are you willing to struggle throughout this business, throughout this journey? What are you willing to give up? Why do you need this? Why do you want this? What person is trapped inside of you 
that you want to release? Why do you want to become a better person? All of that is something I cannot tell you. And I know it sounds so deep for selling shampoo and selling skincare, but no, guys, we are not salespeople. Okay, we are business owners that are changing lives. We are problem solvers. And if you want to go big in this business, you need to take care of yourself first. You need to work on your mindset first because without it, you will only go so far. So I always get the questions of what podcast do I listen to? What books um, have I read? I'm going to list you guys a couple of podcasts that I love. Um, if someone sends me a podcast, like, I'll listen to it. But if I have to like look a podcast up myself, I have a list I want to go through. So I love MF CEO. If you don't like cursing, I don't recommend you listen to him. But I am a person that I'm very straightforward, like no BS type of girl. Like I like you to tell me things how they are and that's how he is. So MF CEO. I love Ed Milet, and we all know he's going to be at Monations. If you haven't gotten your Monations tickets, get them. Ed Milet's podcasts are amazing. I love the Veronica Bay Show. Yes, that's my sister, the Veronica Bay Show. Guys, her podcast is all about mind, body, and soul. And it's all about that personal growth, that personal journey. She's had such an amazing journey these last couple of years, and she's sharing them with all, with all of us, how to become better people, how to think, how to act, how to take care of ourselves. So I love her podcast when it comes to, you know, me, taking care of me, being a better me. Um, I also love your virtual upline, Bob Healy. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about his podcast and often ambitious. Um, Erica and Lindsay are both market partners with Monet. They're amazing and they have a great podcast as well. A, a couple of books I've read that have really, really like gotten to me. I've never been a reader. I never really liked to read, but now that this actually interests me, um, I like it and it's, it's something I want to do. It's not something I have to do. So when I started this business, the first book I ever read was Get Over Your Damn Self. And that book is amazing for anyone that's like me, well, how I used to be, that I thought I was like the hot, mm, that night mm, didn't stink, that all of this, you know, like I just thought I was too good for this business. I had to get over myself. That, bit, that book, Get Over Your Damn Self, highly recommend it. Then there's the book GoPro by Eric Worre. And that is like everything network marketing. For all of you that you guys, well, for the few of you that are new or for whoever's watching this that's new, um, if you're like me that you knew nothing about network marketing, GoPro is an amazing book to introduce you into network marketing. I also read The Four Color Personalities of MLM. It's so important for us to know the people that we're talking to. Are you a red personality, a yellow, a blue? Like, what interests you? I'm not going to talk to a yellow personality about all the money we're going to make in this business because mm. she's not into money. So it's very important to know who you're talking to. I absolutely love the 5 a.m. club. So that book shifted my mindset in so many ways. It taught me so much discipline. I will be honest with you guys, it's been a couple of months since I haven't woken up at 5 a.m. because I've allowed distractions to get in the way. Um, I decided to, you know, I was working my business super hard till very, very late. So it's really hard for me to wake up early. But I promise you it's something that I'm getting back into because it's life changing. So the 5 a.m. club, highly recommend it. Um, also, Leadership by John Maxwell. Love it when it comes to leading. You know, a lot of us aren't natural born leaders. A lot of us are scared of leading. Leadership kind of breaks everything down for us. So amazing and gives us, it made me feel more comfortable when it came to leading my team. Also, The Power of Five from John Maxwell. And that's focused strictly on network marketing. It is amazing. Um, how to Win Friends and Influence People. That is a great book for someone like me too. I, you know... I wasn't very one to deal with a lot of people. I wasn't the most social. I wasn't the most extrovert. So that book really, really, really helped me open my eyes. And then also Rich Dad, Poor Dad helped a lot with finances and kind of getting my head right. So those are just a few that, you know, really impacted me that I want to share with you guys. Those are the podcasts I listen to the most. 
But also sometimes I just come here on YouTube but I put like motivational speeches um how to be good at network marketing how to keep yourself motivated how to be a successful leader like literally just whatever question comes to my mind and there's videos on everything so be self-sufficient type up on google and youtube some you know some things on your own but always make sure you're learning and always make sure you are applying okay this business is for anyone and everyone that is willing to put in the work you need to break up with that instant gratification feeling that you work, you get paid. Instant satisfaction, I'm sorry. And you need to adapt that long-term mindset, that business owner mindset. That maybe, you know, you're going to work two months without seeing instant results. But you know in those two months, you're building. If you're that type of person that has been in this business for a month and a half and you're about to quit because you've seen no results, you're a quitter. Guys, the only way not to succeed in this business is if you quit. And if you're thinking of quitting a month in, you're quitting way too soon. Be fair to yourself. Give yourself the chance you deserve. Some people, it takes a month to, to wake up the light bulb. Some people, it takes five months. I've had girls come back a year later and now they're rocking it in the business. Because there's two dates when you start Monet. The day you sign up and you purchase your products pack and the day you make the decision. The day you make the decision to take this seriously. The day you make the decision that you deserve better. The day you decide that you are not going to give up on your dreams no matter who tells you what, who tells you no, who quits your team, nothing. Once you decide to do that, that's when your real Monet journey starts. Okay, and I wish that I could individually help every single one of you that messages me and do lives with all of you and do team calls for all of you but number one i'm just one person <laughs> and number two it's i can't solve it for you i promise it's all from within you so when i tell you guys to stay consistent and to practice personal development i mean it because that's what made it for me so if something's not working out for you, if you're not being able to, rec if you're not recruiting, if you're not getting VIPs, if your team is quitting, think, relax, and work on yourself. Read a book, listen to a podcast, and reflect. And reflect on the things you can change and reflect on the things you can control. Always be part of the solution. Never be one to focus on the problem. Okay, you guys are in the right company with the right products at the right time. You just need to give yourself a little bit of credit, practice a little bit more gratitude, and put in a little bit more work. If they told you this was going to be easy, they lied to you. It's simple, but it's not easy. It takes work. And the best kind of work you can do is your mental work, your mindset, your personal growth. Because guys, not only does it make you amazing at this business, but it makes you a better person, a better mom, a better wife, a better friend, a better husband, a better everything. Because now you understand yourself and you understand the world differently. So with this, I hope that you guys all dive into a little bit more uh, personal development. Give yourselves the chance you deserve. Don't be so fast to quit on yourself. Don't be so fast to quit on your Monet journey. And remember that you're doing this for you okay i get a bunch of messages about my upline this my upline that guys it's not about your upline and it's not about your downline it's about you what are you doing if your upline doesn't want to help you there are tons of videos and resources you can do i don't make my girls successful that's something i want to clear up my girls get their own success because they're dedicated they're hungry they see the vision it's not your downline's job either. If your, downline's, if your downline is not working, it's your job to keep recruiting until you get that downline that wants it. So let's not point fingers at up or down, only at ourselves. How can we fix ourselves? How can we improve ourselves? What can we do better? And you will see results, okay? Continue to dream big. Continue to dream big. I was never dreaming big until this business. And I can't believe I went 27 years of my life without dreaming big. But continue to dream big. Continue to pour into yourself. Because network marketing, as they say it, is like a personal development course with a paycheck. And that is amazing. We're getting paid to be better people. We're getting paid to find what we're good at to unleash that trapped soul. Like I never knew I was gonna be good at leading and inspiring. And now look at me. 
So we're literally getting paid to better ourselves. Don't take that for granted. I love you all so much. I wish you the best of luck, not only this month, this year, but with your life. The success is yours. The success is out there. Go out and get it. And never ever forget your personal development. Never ever forget your mindset. With the right mindset, you can and you will conquer the world. I promise. I love you guys. Have an amazing day, an amazing week. Mwah.